Now, picture this. You're in your cozy sewing corner, ready to bring your next project to life. Imagine having your patterns, tutorials, and inspirations right on your cutting table, effortlessly projected onto your workspace. Sounds amazing, right? Let's make it happen. Hello there, sewing friends. Welcome back to the Projector Sewing channel, where I teach you how to take your paper sewing pattern skills and transfer them to the digital world using a projector for sewing. Today, we're diving into a topic to help you get set up for projector sewing, and that is how to mount your projector to the ceiling and get it right the first time. So if you're ready to thread that needle of innovation, Stay tuned because I have three fantastic methods to share with you today. First up, we have the basic niche mount. The basic niche mounts are custom designed mounts for sewists by a sewist. They are specifically designed for the top recommended sewing projectors and help to make calibration a breeze. This mount is perfect for those who prefer simplicity without compromising functionality. Let me take you through the quick and easy installation process. Step one, gather your tools and locate the ideal spot on your ceiling. If you are mounting into drywall, I recommend these drywall anchor sets. And if you are mounting into a stud, just a screw will do. It's best if you can have a partner to help, but I was able to set this mount up by myself. You do need to be comfortable on a ladder. Step two, place the projector in the mount and turn it on. It helps again to have a partner for this, but is definitely do it, able to do it alone. Step three, hold the projector where the image will cover and be centered on your cutting surface. Mark the screw holes with a writing utensil. This will make sure that you place the projector mount where you want the image and it is showing up how you want. Keep in mind, you cannot rotate the image to landscape or horizontal. The orientation that the image is in is where it will be. You can flip the image if the words are upside down, but you can't change it to portrait or landscape. Step four, insert the drywall anchors where you marked on the ceiling. If you're mounting to a stud, you can skip adding the drywall anchors and just put the projector and screw it in. I did get a pack of four drywall anchor screw sets for pretty cheap, and I'll link the ones that I used below Step five, now you can hold the mount up and screw the four corners into the drywall anchors. And there you have it. Your projector is now perfectly mounted to the ceiling. You are ready to calibrate your projector for sewing. The four adjustment screws on the bottom of the basic niche mount help to make tiny adjustments to achieve the perfect calibration. A bonus about the basic niche mount is that the projector is easy to slide in and out if you decide to want to, you want to use it for something other for sewing for just a bit. So if your family wants to have a movie night, you can just slide it out of the basic niche mount and put it back in and not be worried about having to do a lot of recalibration. You will need to do a quick check and any fine tune adjustments, but it's easy to take in and out. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you two other options for mounting a projector to the ceiling for sewing. The second method is another custom option, the 3D printed mount. If you're a fan of customization and unique designs, this one's for you. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, don't fret. See a link in the description on how you can get a 3D printed mount for yourself. With a custom 3D printed mount, the possibilities are endless. You can choose or design a mount that not only complements your sewing room aesthetic, but also serves your specific needs. Let me show you how to bring your personalized 3D mount to life. Step one 
If you have your own 3D printer and you know how to do the modeling software, feel free to design your mount and use that 3D modeling software. Or if you prefer to just buy, make sure to see the link in the description below. Next, attach the projector to the mount and position it where you want it. Make sure the screen is hitting your cutting table where you would like it to be. Mark the screw holes with a pencil. Next, remove the projector and screw the mount into the ceiling. Remember to use those drywall anchors just like I used in the basic niche mount or screwing directly into a stud. Finally, reattach the projector and voila! Your sewing sanctuary just got a whole lot more stylish. Now for the third and final method, we're turning to the convenience of online shopping. Say hello to the ball joint mount from Amazon. It's a versatile solution that offers you convenience. So if you're looking for an adjustable and convenient option, the ball joint mount universal projector mount is a go-to. I'm not going to be going over the individual steps for mounting this projector to the ceiling. It's very similar to what you've seen in the 3D mount. It, you are just going to mark where you want it, make sure you turn on the projector, and it's in the right spot before permanently screwing it into your ceiling. One caveat to this mount is that I tried it and I hated it. Um, it didn't hold my projector still, but Many sewists use it and it works well for them. It is the most convenient and a really good price, but the ball joint didn't always hold the projector still, which is really a must have for sewing projectors. Some people will add sandpaper to the ball joint to hold it. However, I chose to upgrade to the basic niche mount and it was definitely worth it. I have no regrets. This was before 3D printed models were available, so the 3D printed model is a great middle ground. And there you have it. Three fantastic ways to mount your sewing projector to the ceiling. The first, the basic niche mount to make calibration a breeze. Then we have the 3D printed with a touch of personalization. And finally, the ball joint mount from Amazon, which offers great convenience. Which method caught your eye? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to Projector Sewing to learn, have more tips and tutorials on using your sewing projector. Until next time, happy sewing.